Hello everyone, Rich here, back for part 9 and the final part of this Empress of Britain tutorial. Today's focus is the ship's lifeboats and basically all the small details that uh, are needed to finish the ship. So, uh, before we start we're going to do a bit of detail work. So we're going to go to the back end of the ship first and start with some stairs. So we're going to go down to the back end, like I just said, and we shall add some stairs and also a... I suppose it's sort of a caged wall. So what we're going to do, go into this area here with the with the six vents. So you've got the basically the, the pincer on the back there. So you've got the vents either side. And what you're going to do, you're going to go to the corners uh, over here. So we're going to each uh, in, inside corners, we're going to add stairs. So we remove the top block up here. And what we'll do, we'll just build stairs, a single row of stairs going down to the deck level there. And then add the banisters, two up, three up, and then four up like so. Same on the other side, remove the top block, and then just add stairs going down like so. Plus the banisters, two up, three up, four up. And there we go, there's the two staircases there. And then what we do, go back to the centre block now, and we're going to add the cage sort of area. It's, I don't know if it's tennis courts or something like that, I'm not sure, probably a sports, something sport related. But what we, anyway, what we'll do, we'll go to the centre block between the two stairs now, and we're going to leave a... Uh, a well, count to the sixth block forward at this point, or, or six block back from the centre block here. So one, two, three, four, five, six, back like so, and then three out to the side. So one, two, three, and then build a pillar. One, two, three, four high. Same on the other side. So go back six again, and then go three the other way. One, two, three, and build four up. One, two, three, four. So you've got two pillars like that, and then you want to go a three gap again outwards. So from that first pillar, go. Three Three, four block out, four blocks out. So one, two, three, four out, and then build another pillar. And the same the other side. Go four out. So one, two, three, four. Build up four. So then you get four pillars like so. And then what you want to do is from the end pillars, you're going to count down the sides now. So we're going to add pillars along the side. So every uh, we're going to add six pillars every fifth block. No, every sixth, sixth block. Sorry. So from this end, from the side pillar here, we're going to go. Count to the sixth block, so one, two, three, four, five, six. And then add another pillar. And six again, one, two, three, four, five, six. Build another pillar. So how many is that? That's two. And then one, two, three, four, five, six. Build another pillar. One, two, three, four, five, six. Build another pillar. One, two, three, four, five, six. Build another pillar. How many is that? One, two, three, four, five. So I want one more. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four. So there we are. There's five, uh, six pillars, like so. So what I should do. I'll do, quickly do the other side. I won't bother count, uh, measuring it because I just compare it to the other side. So one, two, three, four, and then one, two, three, four. Making sure they're all in line, of course. And then one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, and lastly, one, two, three, three, two, three, four. There we go. So there's our pillars. Like so, so each one of them is sort of a five block gap between them. And then same again on the back as you did on the front. So you count, was it fourth block in? So one, two, three, four. Build another pillar there. And fourth in from the other side. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four up, like so. And there we are. There's all the pillars added. And it looks a bit weird, I know, but uh, it'll look fine when we do. So what you want to do all the way around, you go from the top of the uh, top of each pillar. You just build slabs, connecting each pillar together, and you do this all the way around, like so. So that's the back wall, and then you go half a block down again, and add another line of pillar, uh, line of slabs. Like so, and then half down again, and then half down again. So every half block you got, you got uh, pillar, uh, not pillars, but uh, you got. Uh, lines of slabs and there you go there's the back wall done so you just do the same all the way around all the pillars so I should do well, I should do one side I think and then I'll just quickly copy paste it because it's going to take forever otherwise but it gives you an idea what the hell I'm trying to explain <laughs> although it's not explained very well so I just do the top row around the top all the way around well around the front here and then we do the next row below. There 
and you got basically it's that you just do the same thing all the way around and everything should be fine like I said I'll do the first I'll do the well basically one half of it and then you know just copy flip and paste it and then we've got to add the, the brown carpet to the top but that could be added in a moment but like I say do one side and everything should be all hunky dory you may want to leave one end open as well for entrance but uh, it's up to you how you want to do it because uh, that's not something I have taken into account and there we go that's one side done so there we are so you got the back done there and the side and it should look something like that so I do I'll quickly do this end here as well and what I'll do I'll leave the middle part here open so that is you have access there so otherwise it does look a bit weird so what I'm going to do now quickly copy and paste it to the other side down to there so get both sides down so I'll quickly copy flip to the right and then we paste and here we go that's both sides done and it should look something like that it's, it's a, I don't know what it is like I said I think it may be uh, tennis courts or a sports thing of some sort but uh, you know it's not really anything that I know of and then for the last job we just want to get the brown carpet remember brown is always good for hiding the shit stains we just add the brown carpet all the way around all the way around the top at least anyway and then everything should all be hunky dory and there we go that's that little job done there Marvellous, wouldn't you say? Um, so yeah, that's that job done there. So what I'm going to do now is go back to the bridge because that's all the detail there I'm willing to do. So we're going to go back to the ship's wheelhouse. We're going to add a bit more detail to the top, which uh, includes antennas and a couple of vents. You can see them over there on the prototype, roughly on top of the wheelhouse. We need uh, a couple of vents which are in white blocks. So we're going to go from the back wall centre of the top of the bridge, so we're on the top here, centre block there, we're going to count four forwards, so one, two, three, four, and two out, one, two, build a vent there, four high, same the other side, uh, centre block, and then two out, one, two, three, four, like I say, we've got two pillars like that, and then st stairs on the top, and a block forward for the vents, there you go, you've got your two vents like so, and then what we want to do next is to get the wood fencing and we're going to use this for uh, antennas so we need three of these I think so one in the centre roughly about one two three forward maybe four forward of the uh, vents just build up in wood about four or five high and then a couple of sidey bits like that and then a couple of blocks back from the front and then sort of two or three blocks out we just do the same but slightly lower so say about four three high plus the side bits same on the other side so roughly about there I think two two three four high plus the side bits and there we go there's our antennas nothing really special to really talk about there but you know it's it's a thing and uh, yeah, that's our little job done there so what I'm going to do now is move away and work on or work out how the lifeboats are made so bear with me on this one right so what we want to do now is to go down to the boat deck so we're going to work on the right hand side here I'm going to go down to the boat deck which is sort of the top of the bottom if you like so the <laughs> basically the top of the, the promenade here so you've got the overhang promenade here and the top of that is the boat deck here so we're going to go to the front wall of that which is this section here and we're going to count back uh, to the ninth block back, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So the ninth block back, and then we build our first gantry, or well, it's not really a davit, I suppose, more of a gantry. So we build our first one of these, which is build up two, so that's two like that, and then two again, and then two again, and then two again. So it's four rows of two up, like so. And then we want to build across five, so one, two, two, three, four, five, like that. And then we want to go up three, one, two, three, and then forward of that we go up two, and then two again. 
and then we build forward or outwards five so one two three four five and then one down like so so there we are. there's our first gantry so it goes up four rows of two across five up three two two across five down one like that so it's sort of a funny question mark shape thing so that's our first gantry and then what you want to do is leave a 15 block gap so that's the first block so I'll go 15 block gap so that's 10 12 13 14 15 there and on the 16th block we build the same again so 2 up times 4 so 2 2 2 2 and across 5 1 2 3 4 5 up 3 1 2 3 and then 2 and 2 across 5 1 2 3 4 5 and down 1 so there we are there's our first pair of gantry davits and in between those two uh, gantries we have our lifeboat and then once you've got the first gantry is what you do you leave a single block gap and then you do the same again so you want nine of these gantries nine pairs of these gantries so that would house nine lifeboats so build the nine pairs all the way along but first I'm going to build the first lifeboat so what we want to do is on the first gantry along the top row well, along this row of five here what we're going to do is put a block uh, so I'll just count one, two, second, third block in basically along that top five we build a block inwards and then the same on the other side build a block inwards like so and that's where the, the lifeboat itself will sit or the um, the body of the boat so we build the keel on top of that now so build the keel of the boat which goes from block to block like so and then you build at the end you build two forward and then one up same on the other side two forward one up and then what we do, we build the base of the boat around the sides, like so, that's one side. And then we do the other side, like so. And then what we do, for the top row we build two out, two out at the front, and then two out, two out at the back. And then build the side, like so, and we do the same on the other side, we build one, and then two out. One, and then two out, and then we build all the way back and there we are that's basically the first boat done um, if you want to build it further to the outside you can but this is sort of st uh, stationed away for like it may be a bit too close to the gantry davit itself uh, well to the side of the davit you may want to move it out by one block and have a bit more space between say the deck and the lifeboat but it's up to you where you want to put them and this is just a rough guide remember uh, so what we want to do is remove a few blocks which we don't need. So any blocks which sort of clutter the uh, design, we can remove a few. So I'll just remove a few corner blocks, like so. And what I normally do uh, is fill in the boat with white blocks because I'm going to put a canvas cover over the top, or reality a carpet cover. So just fill in the lifeboat, like so. And then we get our carpet, whichever colour you want. I shall use. What should we use today? We use blue, I think. Blue is a good colour. And like I say, we just cover the lifeboat in blue carpet. I suppose depending on the on the line of ship, you can sort of go with any colour you want. Because this is this is the same colour as the uh, stripe on the side. But the ship's got two stripes, and it? it's got a green stripe on the draft and a blue stripe on the hull. So it's up to you which colour you want to use. I prefer personally prefer the blue. And it just gives it a bit more of a design choice. So there we are, there's our first boat and gantry set done. And it should look something like that. So like I say, you want to leave a single block gap now and then build the next uh, gantry davit. And between each, each davit is 15 blocks in a pair. And then between each pair is a block. So you want to build nine of these down each side. So we need, need another eight down this side and then of course nine the other side. And then eventually we'll have a full set. So I shall fly over to the prototype and give you an idea because I'm not going to go through the whole rigmarole of building two or three at a time because it's just going to take too long so I'll just fly over to the prototype give you an idea so there's our first boat there and as you can see I've got a grey canvas to this one whereas over there I've got a blue uh, so you can see you've got the first boat there with a 15 block gap between each davit there and then between each pair you've got the single block gap and then you do the same again and then single block gap again do the same again and it basically you just want nine down each side. I think it's nine. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So there's nine down each side. And you should have everything looking wonderful and smart. So you want to do the same on both sides. And uh, yeah, that should all be hunky-dory. So what I'll do, 
and I'll do a jump cut while I fill in the rest because like I say it is a real pain in the ass to do but you've got the, the, the dimensions of the first gantry set done so what I'm going to do like I say I'm going to do a jump cut while I finish the rest and then we can move on so um, yeah back in a moment okay back again so that's all the lifeboats in place now so we've got the nine down each side so that's 18 in total I'm sure there should be more than that but uh, Hey -ho, there we go. So yeah, you got nine down that side and nine down that side. And I've already, like I said, I've already uh, given you the dimensions of where they go and what's not. So I didn't feel the need to uh, go through all that rigmarole. But uh, there we go. That's all the lifeboats in place, and uh, that little job done there. So we're going to do a few more uh, polishing off areas on the ship now. So we're going to go over to the right-hand side behind the ship's wheelhouse, or to the side of the ship's wheelhouse, I should say. So we've got the wheelhouse there. And you've got the side parts underneath the bridge wings here. So you're going to add a wall just below. So you've got the bridge wing above. So you're just going to add a wall along the side here. So a wall one block high just on the side there like so. Same on the row below. Just add a line along like so. And then what we want to do, I'm just trying to work out how I've done this. Um, for the top row here, between the top and the bottom row here, what we do is add a line of blocks one, two, three, four high there. And then three, one, two, three, and then two, one, two, like that. And well, one if you want as well. So it creates a sort of curve going down to the deck below. And we do that with the next deck down as well. So we've got the uh, deck going from up there down to the, the uh, ship's uh, boat deck. So we're going to add one, two, three, four there, and then one, two, three, one, two, and one. Just to give it a bit more design, if you like. Just, just, you know, just makes it look a bit, uh, well, less crap than it did before. <laughs> So yeah, that's that side done. Or actually, we can add the <gasps> brown carpet as well. So we get our brown carpet. Remember, always good for hiding the shit. We can add the brown carpet to the top of that. All the way down that side there. And then, then down on the next row down. Next row there. And there we go. There's the brown added there. The highlight of every uh, build is the brown. So I do the same the other side. So underneath the bridge wings here. Add the wall down the side. And then the wall down the other side, or not the other side, but down the bottom down there. And then up here we add the four. And what was it? It was three, one, two, three, and then two and one. And then the next row it was the same again. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, one, two, and one. So well, that's that section done there. And of course we add the brown carpet as well. so and then down the other side there we go that's that little job done there I'm just going to quickly look at the other side that's fine uh, so yeah that is that little jobby done there and I think I've not added a pair of windows there's a, yeah there's a pair of windows that go under the under the bridge wings actually and this flat wall here uh, just trying, what should I use we use glass of course and I think what we'll do because I've not added the windows I don't actually know the dimensions but what we'll do on this wall here what we'll do we'll remove four blocks and replace with glass leave a two block gap and then add another four uh, remove four blocks and add four glass like so so you've got a couple of windows in there like that and I shall fly around to do the other side as well so zoom around to here we'll go window window there and then two block gap another window there and that's that little job done and it looks a little bit better it's not perfect but it looks a bit better right so not really much more to do, just basically adding the handrails. So, yeah, what we're going to do, go start from the behind the bridge wings, and we'll add our handrails going inwards towards the stairs there, and then back behind the first funnel. So we don't we don't add handrails around the funnels, we just add the handrails around the main deck houses. The funnels didn't have any uh, handrails around them, because of course it's not a public area. So there's our first handrails around that section there. And I do the other side as well but like I say it's nothing really spectacular and no handrails around the funnels so handrails at the side here and that's a little job done so that's that, that first section there and what we do we get under the next deck and we add handrails from the outside and then all the way along between the connecting points of the lifeboat gantry so you can see there are other gantries attached to this deck here or this deck house, we can just build handrails all the way down the side in between where the handrail, well, well, in between where the davits attach, rather. Which go down one, I'll do one side, of course, then do the other. And it's basically any edge which sort of could be a public area, 
um, but uh, doesn't have a, a handrail to it, you can add handrails to it. Kind of makes sense, doesn't it? Like I said, I do one side, and then we we'll move on to the other side. And it's usually when I'm doing the handrails, I have a little rant, but there's not really much I can rant about at the moment. Yes, YouTube is going through that, well, my channel rather, is going through that sort of stalemate that it had pretty much all through last year. So I really am considering the future of this channel, but I've still got builds ongoing, so um, I'm probably finish off what I have and then consider the future, but we'll have to wait and see on that one. Um, but yeah, it's, it's not a, a happy environment when you put a lot of work into something and not getting anything out of it. Um, but while I'm here, I'll just say I'm just adding the handrails across the back wall now with this section. See what the, uh, uh, the vents down there. Um, but yeah, what I'm going to do after this, this uh, Empress of Britain tutorial is done, which will be in a few minutes' time, uh, I'm going to take a break from building or uh, well, doing tutorial videos because I've not got anything finished. I've not. I mean, the Queen Mary 2 is months away in terms of build. The Oceanos stopped uh, a couple of weeks ago or three or four weeks ago because I just couldn't be bothered. Um, the Queen Elizabeth, the first one, is more well, basically just a hull. Because there was going to be another guy doing the tutorial for that one, but that never came to anything, so that's something that's sort of fallen back onto me. The QE2, Queen Elizabeth 2, is also a sort of planned upgrade project, but that is uh, on hiatus as well, or on hold. The Dazzle colour scheme for the Olympic is an option as well, but uh, that's sort of depending on how I feel. And please don't keep asking for it, because I'm not going to do it if you keep asking. I'm just going to do things at my own pace. So that is uh, something for the future, maybe. I um, don't really know what else I've got to say, because most of the big ships of the era I, I like have been done. I mean, the Queen Mary's done, the Mauritania, Lusitania, Titanic, Britannic, uh, Empress of Britain, Empress of Ireland, Oceanic, and all things like that have been done. Um, I, don't really much, I don't really want to go to modern cruise ships apart from the Queen Mary 2, so we'll have to wait and see on that one. Anyway, that is the uh, that deck there done with the handrails. We're going to go to the next deck house around funnel two and three, and start at the centre there and build the handrails around that. So it's another little job that needs to be done. So yeah, like I said, I've, most of the projects that have been, needed to be done have sort of been done. Uh, the Californian was the last one, wasn't it? So that was uh, finished off a few weeks ago, about a month ago now. Um, and I do apologise that this tutorial has taken a long time compared to what I normally do because this is sort of spread over three weeks rather than the usual week and a half. That's just enthusiasm on my part. I mean, mental health is also very good at this. Uh, to, well, it's very good to let uh, let it uh, stand aside for a little while. So you don't want to just sort of plug and keep going under something that you know is just going to drive you into the wall so, or drive you into the floor mentally so it's just you got to take time out to do uh, or time out to uh, regain your head of it so anyway that's the, the handrails down that side there and then you got the handrails on the pincer areas around the back here so just do round under the uh, vents there but uh, yeah I'll probably probably be doing more from the depths videos uh, over the next few weeks I mean the ramming videos for some reason sick people really like to see ships being rammed into each other I don't know why there's nothing really intellectual about it I mean, it's basically two ships bumping into each other at a very slow speed and watching some pieces fall off I don't know why <laughs> why that is entertainment but it proves popular as the Titanic versus Californian video proved I mean that's got that's nearly a hundred thousand views and I don't really understand why it's so popular but then again it is Titanic doing something that it wasn't not meant to meant to do, but there you go. Well, there you go. That's that's the way things are. Anyway, we're getting the handrails up the other side now, so I'm just going to go up the other side of this deck house, and hopefully we will get this all done. I mean, it's quite a large deck house. This one. Got to go all the way up. To the other side. Where are we? Oh, we're by funnel number two, so we're nearly at the end of this one. So then we go up the other side. And there we go, that's that deck house done there. 
with the uh, handrails added. Um, and I think the last one is the boat deck, basically. So we're going to feed our way through all the davits again. So I'm going to start at the front end and do basically the same thing all the way forward. So this will take a little while. But uh, I keep saying butts, but there we go. Um, not really sure. I know in, in response to this, people will be art, you know, be saying, "Can you build this? Can you build that?" I do take uh, requests on board, but I can't promise everything. I mean, I got there are limitations of what I can do. Some of the ships that have been requested, there are no deck plans or uh, di uh, detailed drawings of the ship in full view or anything like that. So I've got to sort of work around that if I can. I mean, th this ship, I mean, the Empress of Britain, there was no top-down deck plan, so I just had to sort of make the uh, the silhouette of the ship out um, or the, 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 the width and length of the ship I sort of had to work out using the Queen Mary's dimensions but the, the, the side profile of the ship was fine I had no problem doing that but that's just one of those things you, you've got to work with what you got and uh, that's the handrails down that side so lastly we do the handrails down the other side of the boat deck and I think that will be pretty much it for that one so yeah it, it, all the requests I do take on board, but like I say, it uh, depends entirely on the resources available. So, shit. Yeah, so if I don't have the proper deck plans or detailed drawings of said ship, then, you know, I've got, it sort of puts a, puts me on the back foot, really, on what I can do. So, you're not ignored. I'm just having to uh, work with what I have. So, that is that. So, um,. Yeah, there was other things I wanted to do tutorial-wise for Minecraft. I mean, I, I did want to build Formula One cars you know, for some reason. I mean, you can't use them or anything, but uh, I wanted to build a, a very large-scale Williams FW19. I started it, and it never come to anything, so that's uh, a project kind of lost. But there you go, that's that's how things are. Um, the main project is ships, really. I mean, the Minecraft stuff... Is sort of ticks along, but there we go. Anyway, that's that's the handrails added there, and that is the ship uh, basically signed off and done. That is the Empress of Britain, and uh, she's all done, apart from those black edges or these black areas which just look ridiculous. But I can't do much about that. But that is Empress of Britain done, and thanks very much for watching and being uh, being there for the support um, or being supportive of this channel and things like that. Um, I will. In, I do intend to come back with more things, like I say, but I'm just going to take a little break for a, you know, a few weeks, a month or so, because I got I got nothing else to do, build wise for tutorial wise. Anyway, I've still got to finish off the builds that I have got. I mean, like I say, Queen Mary two is months away. Oceanos um, was over there somewhere and is still in need of fixing up. Queen Elizabeth, QE2 and all things like that are still miles off as well. So I'm going to take a little bit of time out to finish those off. I'll probably do a couple of From the Depth videos and we'll go from there. So uh, we just have to wait and see. But uh, that is The Empress of Britain done. Signed, sealed, delivered, done. And we shall call it a day there. So this is Rich signing off, logging off, disappearing. And uh, I shall return with another video soon. So um, bye for now.